Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Institute of Global Professionals. We all know that it's an organization under Professionals Consulting. I'm Shumi, the host of this program today. So I hope that all of you are fine in this pandemic situation uh, by the grace of Almighty. And yeah, I am also fine. I'm welcoming you all to our today's session. Here again, uh, we are back with another greatest personality today. I'm glad to announce you all that we have successfully completed four of our webinar sessions. And today's session is our fourth one, fifth one, sorry. And I hope that our today's session is also going to be a successful one. In our every session, we try to appear with some amazing international speakers who can give us important suggestions as well as information um, that we can use in our corporate sector as well as in our personal life. So we always work for your betterment. We always try to be informative to you all, guys. Uh, so I'm not going too far uh, for a long discussion because today we have um, an amazing personality. He will talk about our today's topic. And our today's topic is decision making and execution. Decision is the most uh, important and as well as the hardest thing actually uh, to take. Um, we always uh, remain in a dilemma that what should we do or what should not to do. And today we have um, our guest, Mr. Ravinder Paul Singh, sir, with us. Uh, I'm going to give a brief introduction about him. He is a research consultant a motivational trainer, soft skill trainer, and psychological trainer at the same time. In his educational life, he was actually a science graduate. He has worked with the BPO Institute, CSR activities. He is also a motivational speaker. Communication and creativity are the true strengths of his professional deliverance. He has also worked with so many government organizations, especially with NHRC. So he has acquired an unique organizational skill. He has also com completed many professional projects uh, successfully. So he has worked with many consultant firms also. So, okay, um, I'm, welcome, I'm welcoming our today's guest. Mr. Ravinder Sa to the Institute of Global Professionals. So, thank you, thank you so much, and welcome each and every one for this particular session that is uh, decision making and execution. And I would like to thanks to you all people to join as well as professional consulting to me for they invited me for this particular session because uh, what I feel. This is the most important session ever uh, I, I felt in my life. And I feel that because everything in your life, if it's a sales, if it's anything, if it's a marriage, if it is personal, if it's professional, anything, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision because that is important. And every time, whenever we are into force, we have some different opinions. I should go on this side or I should go on this side. Which decision is good for me? Am I doing right? Is it correct? Shall I take advice from someone? Is it right path to go? I'm not wrong. If I'm not wrong, then why am I not getting the fruitful results? If my decision is correct, if I'm presuming that why am I not getting fruitful results? It's all about the various questions we have. Because decision making itself is a wide idea. Decision making always comes when you have approach, when you have a values within you. Until and unless, I'm telling you, more than 55 to 70% the range of belt. 
people are not able to take their decision individually on the individual ground they can't take decisions on the discussion ground they are not able to clarify their doubts why it is happening this is my basic core topic for the day decision making and most important execution if you're ready with the decision and if you're not ready with the execution then there's a matter of concern because now you know that and you can't do it why is it so if you know it and if you can't do it why is it so so we all going to check all these parameters all the things from the initiation till end we will check each and individual parameter for our own senses with our own values and approach because it is necessary it is important it is very very essential so my dear friends and each and everyone whomsoever join in i again welcome each and everyone with the folded hands because decision making always start with the blessings of almighty as well as blessings of elders so whenever you want to initiate any kind of decision guys please be cool be calm and be neutral with your senses if you're not cool not calm not neutral with your senses you can't go with the decisions okay so let's move with this topic and i'll show you something this to you as indian mythology we were we have to discuss something about duryodhana krishna and arjun why is it so because during the war of mahabharata during the war of mahabharata duryodhan took one decision which was very destructive for him duryodhan took one decision only which was very destructive for him i'm repeating this line second time and what was that decision you can see in this picture this one guy duryodhana and arjuna and krishna arjuna and duryodhana both approached lord krishna for the help in in the fight for against each other when duryodhana approached he noticed that that arjuna is already sitting there duryodhana was worried little bit now what to do what i have to do now now arjun will ask whole of the army of lord krishna that is called akshuni sena what i will do i will lost then suddenly arjuna said that no problem duryodhana you are elder you have, go ahead and asked about your wish and duryodhana said lord krishna lord krishna give me akshuni sena give me your whole army then arjuna then krishna said that there will be two options the one is me one is my army you have to choose one one is me one is my army and duryodhan chose akshuni sena means the army of lord krishna and lord krishna was with arjuna and the result arjuna win that war because lord krishna was him duryodhan was not able to understand that point duryodhan was not able to took that decision on time in even shakuni scolded him after that that why did not choose lord krishna because he is very clever he know how to win the war but that decision was taken by duryodhana and the result was destructive what do you want he asked for krishna narayani sena narayani army which was two akshunis in size means 20 lakhs more than soldier there will be increasing in his military strength in duryodhana's mind he thought he overwhelmed the pandavas as consider krishna to be more mere mortal and not much to use in pandavas only to be rebuked by shakuni okay let's move to one more quote for the decision making quran quote itself allah says and what they trust on exalted in might the merciful then when have to take a decision put your trust in allah put your trust in almighty put your trust in almighty certainly allah loves you who put their trust on him so as per the quran quote itself in the methodology in hindu muslims and other religion itself there are many grants there are many rituals there are many things which give us enormous information about these all things this is pretty important this is pretty essential so guys i hope you are very much clear with this now why a good decision is important you can change the history with a good decision i'll tell you one more example nokia took decision not to upgrade with android they were out of the market so on a very important time very right time it is very essential to take a decision first of all i am clarifying this thing to you guys 
why it is important to take a decision later on we will discuss how to take decision what are the consequences what are the challenges we are going to definitely discuss all about the same but most important first of all we should understand in our mind in our heart in our body and our soul why we have to take decision why it is very very important some of the girls says that my father will take decision for marriage some of the boys says my family will take decision for marriage certainly no problem about it but you should understand to whom you're going to marry you should understand to whom you're going to live with your life completely because it is the person who is going to enjoy and who is going to suffer so you have to decide you have to understand that point which is critically important with the critical thinking because nothing is more important than that decision making if you know capabilities but you don't know how to dive you don't know how to swim this is the skills but you don't know where to swim when to swim it's a decision when you don't have the power of decision you are helpless with the skills even you are helpless so i will say that is most important thing when i mentioned by the krishna arjuna duryodhana or very quote by the quran in even we say that karma is very important part decisions it taking itself is a karmic process that why we say that karma raste ma phale shu kadachana so that is pretty important thing in aspects in life if you really want to change your life you have to you have to take good decisions you have to start decision it's no good decision or bad decision later on but have a practice to take decision slowly slowly you will change the thing in hindi will says that in the practice karat karta abhyas ho jadmati ho sajan rasri avat jate sil par par apne sath it is the process that all we need to understand it is the process that all we need to initiate it is the process that we all need to take care that is the most important ever is into the game so let's move into that i will move to the slide later let's have a one interaction when we ask the people what they want what is their orientation what are the concepts what are the most important thing they feel what are the concept they really want into life every person every individual have different criteria every person have different set of mind every person have different set of approach every person have different set of standards now in decision making what we want in decision making what are intentions in decision making what are the consequences we need to understand that we all need to take care that we all need to understand your decision making always play decision making always play a important and value role in in within you until and unless you play a important value role in the decision making that is your sense what is my sense what is your sense it is absolutely correct into the case if i am sharing something with you if i am saying something to you and if i am if i am saying that it is important your own sense your own values important why i am sharing this let, let me connect you well first eye to eye emotion connect why a person who is dictating a decision to you are you dictating a decision are you understanding a decision are you taking the decision into the things that is most important i will tell you and i will tell you more into that how have you ever took decision as well have you ever taken a decision how can you tell me i am going to tell you right now how to take that decision how to take that values because if you can take decision you can certainly change the things and if you can't take the decision you can't change the things i am telling you with the presentation of that particular state which i am sharing with you the presentation is pretty important because in the presentation you can really understand i am telling you the decision is yours is pretty important it's your life you have to take decision first of all be ready guys many people will come many people will come in your life and say this is correct many people will come in life and say this is not correct what you have to do what you have to understand that is your decision that is your point so i am going to share my slide with you on the decision making so as you can see what is decision making 
our core first of all we have to understand what is decision making think about it i'm silent for 30 seconds think about at your end what is decision making i'm not giving you answer over here why why i'm not giving you answer because at least start the process at your mind you know whatever happened with our trainings generally a trainer come he gives you all answer he never he he or she never allow you to think even i am the person allow you to think what is decision making first of all you have to think what is decision making first of all you have to think how decision making itself is a process actually it is a process by which you will calculate you will analyze the things at your go and after that you move forward for the further directions why it is important because if you it's business if it is a personal it is pretty important to go with the decision how many kind of decisions are there what we are into illusion why we are in illusion when we are into illusions what is illusion i want to take that decision i want to marry that girl but i am not able to do why i want to move this business why i am not able to do because i am into the illusion illusion means i have a dilemma i have something in my mind which is destructive which is not a, which is not allowing me to take that decision so that is important because whenever you say something it is about the decision itself what is the right time for decision very nice question guys what is the right time for the decision can you tell me is it right time to take a decision or oh, tomorrow is the right time to take a decision or oh, day after tomorrow is the right time to take the decision so what i will say the right time is when when you ready when you analytically check the things when you ready when you calculatively check the things what is your intensity that is again a nice question you are ready with the decision you are ready to take that decision but your intensity is low guys your energy is low you don't want to take you already ready with the decision but you move for the decision and they said oh my god this is not my cup of tea i can't do this means you are not consistent if you took the decision then be into this guys what are the challenges we have to analyze those challenges be ready with that challenges fight with them make yourself commit yourself to fight against those challenges so that is our core i am w so let's see example first of all we are into this world guys listen listen to this very carefully now be optimistic and value with the things when we say i am into this world why because god gives us life obviously i am who i am a human for what purpose as per the methodological purpose there must be the reason but if i if god sends me into this land there must be the reason if i am into, into this life which kind of decision i have to take let's understand as you all people are professional or might be some people are studying also some people are into the families also so let's understanding each and every person. there are two kind of decisions basically the one is personal decision another is professional decision personal decision in which school i should go in which school my my uh, kids should go in which value i should move which gym i should join with which girl i should marry with which person i should marry these are the some of the personal decision but the professional decision which job i should join is this company is good for me is google is good for me is tcs is good for me is hexaware is good for me we should we should know but why we don't know you know why there is a confusion between us you know what is the reason behind it i'll tell you it, it let's make it interactive into that why there is a confusion into that because until and unless because until and unless we don't know exactly and calculative risk and rewards or or consequences for that decision we always been the confusion we took decision without any analytical approach without any study we took decision on a influential way okay what is influential way my friend came to me okay ravinder no need to study over here we will go to usa and we will study about there 
I don't think any way. I ask my parents, give me three lakh, five lakh rupees. I'll go to the USA and I'll study about these perspectives. But I haven't realized that why that person is going over there. Is there any is there any same kind of passion and profession we both have? I just follow him because he was my friend. I haven't calculated on my mind that I should take that decision or no. If I have to calculate on my mind, then there will be no problem. But if I'm not calculating on my mind, there is always a problem. Who? Ask yourself. Why? Ask yourself. Where? Ask yourself. What? Ask yourself. How? Ask yourself. When? Ask yourself. This is pretty important thing. You have to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself. If you can't ask yourself, you can't move into the decisions. Who should, who am I? Why I am? Where I am? What I am? How we should do that? When we will do? All these decisions are pretty important. So, in my sense, whenever you move something into the priority, whenever you move something into the values, you have to understand that. And whenever I say something into decision making or something else, I always say that there are many factors which play very important and important roles. First of all, understand the priority. Let's take an example. By the age, you are just five years of old. Okay, you are into the primary education. Now you move to the higher secondary, secondary and matriculation and higher secondary. You are moved from the college, uh, from that second senior secondary school into the college. Now you are studying. You can you can take arts, you can take medical sciences, etc. Anything, but how are you going to take that? Have you have, have you analyzed your interest? Prior to your decision, you have to analyze your interest, guys. When I say who, it means that. You have to analyze your interest. If you are not analyzing your interest, what is your interest? Now someone says, how I my, my interest is that I, I like to ride bikes. Sir, so that is your hobby. That is not interest. Interest is long term method. Hobby which changes periodically and a short intensity of a time. Okay. So first of all, if you want to really take your decision, you have to identify the interest. If you really identify the interest, then you can certainly channelize the energy for decision. You are the person who have to identify your interest, guys. If you're not able to identify your interest, you will not able to channelize the energy. There are many interests you will say. Then you have, then you have to identify the thing which will give me, which which is giving me a pleasure. I'm not feeling tired with that. I'm feeling happy with that. I can do for a long time that particular thing, and I'm really doing it. I'm really enjoying that thing. That is actually your interest. Rest is illusion. That is actually your interest. Now. After the identification of your interest specifically, because every person has some individual quality. It is not like this. If, if, you, if I'm holding some quality, you might be holding something else. So my perception is, my perception is this, every individual has some individual qualities. So you have to identify those quality, my dear. You have to really understand those qualities. And after understanding those qualities, you have to channelize your energy. Now, why? Because if you not channelize your energy, there are two kinds of emotions. There is love and anger. That is most constructive and most destructive emotion ever in the world. You took decision to marry someone and to love someone. You didn't get her or any person. You become wild for that. Why is it so? Why is it so? That is the why. You have to understand. What are the real consequences for that particular action which you are going to take? If you not, you know, why people recently there's India case to Shant Singh Rajput death mystery. There are many, and many other things. Why it is happening? It is happening because the people whomsoever is into will not able to understand. That is, that is the very important and eventual things. Where, where I should, why, who, why, where, where in which sense I took decision. Now I am heading. Where, in which direction is my direction is good? Analyze it. 
analytically makes it good value wise it and slowly and gradually you will really understand this is the real sense which i was looking for so always remember one thing in your life whenever you do anything channelize that your energy and slowly and gradually you will feel that that you are moving into the right direction so i will intend let's move into the further into risk avoid influential thinking in a decision making what you have to avoid you have to avoid influential thinking what is influential thinking your friends is saying something your girlfriend is saying something your sister is saying something that is might be advisable but it should not be influential suppose you went to a movie and watch a movie bhag mil khaba you went to movie for titanic you went for movie any other movie in 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 any country and suddenly you feel that i will do like that you went for movie for and you feel that i will be a barack barack hussein obama i will be the like uh, 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 you can say abraham lincoln but that that doesn't actually each individual has their own identity i'll be ronaldo it's not like this you have to really understand your decision should not be influential your decision must be with your interest if your decision is not with your interest you have to change your decision periodically and after some time you will feel that i am no one i am not able to execute it because you are not correct it you because you are not taking bad decision okay focus on good things how you are doing a task but always remember one thing guys if you are not focusing on good things it means you don't have a believe in the power of almighty some people say that my destiny is like this whatever i take decision people distracted me people pulls my leg many people might be thinking like this yeah i was into the job that guy is thinking about me i was doing very good but that guy pulls my leg it is not like this it is your own karma when i started the session i said that karma raste ma falishu kada chana means your own karma play a vital and important role you are only responsible for your happiness for your sorrows you are only responsible for that sometimes you are dependent on that sometimes you incompetent for that but sometimes you but every time guys please remember this you are also responsible for that okay no need to make everyone's happy how when we say yes to everyone will you do this ma'am yes sir will you do say yes ma'am but you are raising that expectation okay you are taking that decision i will help him you were taking that decision without the calculative approach and the consequences are not good guys please remember this always take decision with the calculative approach always take decision with the calculative approach if you not taking decision with the calculative approach it will be very difficult for you whenever you move in any part of the history first world war second world war understand it 1971 war 1965 war 1962 war many things bangladesh movement 1971 the formation of bangladesh itself there are many things in the point but you have to understand why did that decision was took place who was the person who was taking that decision on the ground whom so person is responsible for that so there's a one decision can you imagine hiroshima and nagasaki in 1945 two atomic bombs now i'll tell you the most important story of that and tell you how they channelized their energy understand this guys very carefully someone bombarded on 6th august 9th august 1945 two atomic bomb on hiroshima and nagasaki one was there was a conversation with the president in us president guys i'll give you a very nice story decision making someone took decision to bombard a thing and how they reply with the constructive decision now i'm telling you in your life you also feel that someone bombarded on me with the emotions and things how constructive you are at that time it is important i'll tell you on that someone asked that you destruct that both the cities someone discussing with the us president you destruct the both the cities and japanese were sitting there they asked one thing sir can you check the home appliances in your white house it's sony it's philips and everything is japanese you destruct those cities 
those cities are creating the things in your home this is the reason the how constructively they answer it how that is this how how they answer it when it is required within the white house so always remember guys decision making itself is a very nice process for your personal life for your professional life for your marriage for your pair for your parents for your study for your kids for everyone it is very important which school you should go analyze first of all your child analytical approach then take decision don't follow anyone with the close eyes you can believe but be with the logic also that is pretty important so always understand this thing because now we will discuss what are the factors which basically affects our decisions the first factor is priority you took a decision of marriage and you took a decision of business guys understand now what is your priority is your priority marriage right now or business right now? you have to fix it first of someone thinking that if someone don't have a business how he can marry someone because nowadays uh, everything is materialistic i agree but he is launching someone else he is into the family business they are expanding their business in that ground you can consider into so according to time you have to take that decision guys understand this very with very humble approach i am saying understand on that ground that what is the need of the r understand on that ground what is the need of the r if need of the r is marriage because you are into the age then go for it and it's not about the age are you seriously ready what is marriage marriage is the name of responsibility and accountability are you seriously ready are you seriously ready for to be responsible be accountable for a relationship there are many people who have a boyfriends and girlfriends are you seriously reliable for that and many of the girls think that i will marry this person because i really like her and i really love her are you seriously not into the illusion ask yourself why you are with that person i'll not take the name i will not specify the things but ask yourself why you with them this is your decision because after that that should not be converted into any kind of separation divorce or anything because on the correct time we are not analyzing the things we are not prioritizing the thing that's why we are not able to take that decision so take if you want to take the decision first of all prioritize the things you have to prioritize the things what is my priority understand it what is my priority that is most important thing then you can second point acceptability if your priority is there then you have to accept it and that okay this is my priority i accept it now i will move with this then understand the risk and resources if your priority is to move into the sky okay for example let's be into the hypothetical situation and you want to move into the sky to so guys do you have risk and resources for that involve money with you do you have really guts to do that a person who wants to say i will put 100 i will be in the gym and i will lift 100 kg of weight are you seriously ready to take the diet are you seriously ready to be in the gym every day for an hour and are you really considerable or go hard or go hum go home policy mem respected friends whenever we take decision we took decision this is my thing but are you seriously committed for that here is the problem when you are not committed without knowing the risk and resources after some time you will be lagging behind because you are not committed that is when is all about because you are not committed guys then you took decision okay i will be to the usa do you have the money do you have the visa do you have all the capabilities all the things which you have want to do or are you moving step by step no you just dream it it is dream it's no decision to convert your dream into decision you must have acceptability and understanding of risk and resources
that is pretty important next we more goals and value in the decision making if you want to set any decision first of all understand what is your goal you have your interest you set your goal you risk resources and the focus now focus on that goal you have to focus on that goal if you really focus on that goal you will be consistent like in yoga practice like in gym practice always trainer said that be ready be go be ready be ready go hard go home go hard go home that is the reason because you want to consistency if you are really want to change the life really want to change the things consistency does matter i'm i'm telling you why we fail into the decision that whenever we take decision in hindi i'm saying that hum log decision lete usme fail kyu ho jate hain because hum consistent nahi hain that is the reason right because in in whenever we take decision why we will fail because we are not consistent we we don't know our interest we don't know other things we don't know the risk and resources we took decision and moving with this we are close our eyes and we are moving and after some time we are saying oh my god it is not correct it is my destiny it is my destiny ask yourself are you karma process was good are you decision and analytical power was good no i have my youtube channel that's name ask yourself ask your voice sorry why because i generally people generally push people to ask your voice your own voice will tell you is this that is called intuition in the decision that also play a very vital role it's also play a very vital vital role because if you are in, in into the intuition of decision or guys when we after some time when with the question answer of this session i will explain each and everything very well into that i will give you i i am challenging this thing to you each and every one ask any question from me i will challenge you i will give you accurate answer on that with the grace of god and almighty blessings and blessings and affection of people like you it is not i am saying with my humble hands with the humble approach i will try to give each and every answer to you sir this is my problem this is my decision making this is wrong with me why it is happening in that particular answer section many things more be clear this is a just a, a view i am giving to you people about the why we fail into decision making how to take a decision what are the key factor we need to take care how to focus on interest how to focus on resources how to focus on risk how to know about resources how to know about the risk and goals how to know about the dis- demands how to know about the perceptions it is most important guys if you really want to change your life then you have to be now whenever you take decision use your intuitions i'm telling you listen this very carefully guys use your intuitions but with the neutral mind with the neutral mind a person who who murdered someone must be took that decision and now tell me will that person take decision in one minute to murder someone you know psychology says that we have a emotion for 12 minutes after 12 minutes the emotion will leave us if you if you don't want to hold it that person murder someone that person rape someone why why he took that decision because there was a frustration in her, in his or her mind a long ago it was a uh, visible today but it was planted day by day day by day day by day day by day he was feeling frustrated do you think a frustrated mind which doesn't of peace can take a good decision so that is also important a peaceful mind is very important for decision now understand you sit with a one on a chair you want to take the decision first of all close your eyes identify your interest neutrally then identify can you seriously do that can you seriously follow that interest else you have to find the alternative after the alternative or that particular interest accept it then commit toward it then work on it then consistent for it i understand your intuitions evaluate your things make sure timing must be good be consistent and i'm challenging you you will definitely get the result because all this process involved a karma process so almighty always bless you with that 
but when you are not following that path actually correctly then there is a problem active decision factors that i was talking about perception priority acceptability risk resources goals values demand style and judgment you have to prioritize at least i have to go to my brother's marriage or i have to go my friend's marriage now you have to prioritize guys very simple now you say that it is very simple there is nothing wrong in that it is very uh, easy to take decision give some critical condition i have two cousins now on in which marriage i should go first of all our family should sit together and doesn't make the dates like this that it clash that is also a decision making friends you know we people create problem my dear friends we people create problem and then we try to find out the solution for those problems so why don't we take wise decision so that these problems shouldn't occur if you take wise decision there will many many problem you can escape believe me guys i'm telling you very honestly this you can escape many problems with your perception with your acceptability but no at that time we have some egoistic approach that is called na in everything is decision you people sitting here it is your decision i am here it is my decision we all together it is our decision we are discussing it our factor we will get something good out of it and apply to its our con uh, constructive effort toward the society are you uh, 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 is it seriously we are ready to give something constructive to ourselves as well as society that is also a decision everything is a decision someone say that this is this will in his this this will enhance your business that is also need to take decision this will change your life then you also have to take decision this will change every then you also have to take decision so that i was saying to you guys first of all be cool and calm with your mind be neutral with your mind before taking a decision first analyze second calculative third understanding fourth risk and resources fifth commitment sixth consistency seventh value and ethics eight time nine and result ten this is the factors all this come together if you miss one of the factor now you will definitely lack into that now understand it with this all factor perception priority acceptability risk risk into the business if i want to do the business i should know the risk okay, what is the risk involved into what are reward involved into resources i want to do the coal import is this coal mine available in this area seriously do i have license about it do you have export import license about it can i arrange it can i have resources and money for that these are the all things we have to check values demands is the demands for coal in this country for power generation or a hydro projects is there i have to check judgment this is my decision i will commit to that after that all. so guys now a practice now a practice for 2 minutes each and every one think about a one decision of your life please think about a one decision of your life that i have took in last one month two months one year two year according to you which is incorrect now you think that that was a wrong decision now please calculate that and find out the mistakes in that and honestly i'm telling you you will get answer within you that i ignored this point at that time due to that this failure happened and that is the line which i was indicated illusion that was the line which i indicated called illusion because you know every time we will take decision we will be wrong or right that is some problem we will create a values for us to escape from that regret 
एंड दैट इज ऑब्वियसली नाइन इलेवन अटैक्स ऑन यूएसए डू यू थिंक इट वॉज जस्ट वन डे प्लान The country is suffering from poverty after 70s, nearly 70 years of freedom. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. The people are many people are suffering from poverty. Why? Is this one day game? Is the government is not effective or our society is not effective? There are many decisions they have to take. This old approach is now as a general citizen, as a general person, be neutralize yourself. Don't be in any kind of burden. That is called critical thinking. Your mind is into the burden. Getting my point? Your mind is into the burden. You must understand the concept of critical thinking. You are with the burden. You are notable. You want to move somewhere else. Suddenly you realize that oh my god, I have a EMI for home. I have EMI for the cars. will you able to move have you really consider these things prior to taking that decision to buying that home or buying that car are you seriously killing your happiness and uh, uh, creating a frustration with you within you and that is also causing to your wife to your children also do you think it was good decision but some people says that how we move move then we have to take it absolutely correct but then understand the risk and resources and committed to that you have to sacrifice many thing also guys when duryodhana in hindu methodology say that duryodhana took decision to war his 99 brother was killed in that wrong destructive decision so always remember a wrong decision always need something from you don't take it be neutral understand it avoid risk be cool with your mind prioritize the things thanks to almighty sit together sit with you self together means you and your soul understand the risk understand the concept and then take decision and be ethical with your words be ethical with your karmas because that will certainly come back to you for sure if you valueize all these things then whatever you decision will take and move with the consistency and karma i can challenge that you will definitely get a very good and positive rewards for it are you do, do you seriously ask this question from you guys i can find many of the people you can find many of the presentation over the youtube also but how many people who talk seriously to you like this how many people talk to you on a such manner to be like with you very rare start analyzing yourself starts have a have a session with you also after having a session with me please have a session with you for 15 minutes guys that is very important than anything else that is pretty important most important and that critical thinking will allow you to analyze all these things which i mentioned percept all these things perception priority acceptability risk resources goals values demand style and finally you will lead to a judgment that is the effective decision making because it is on the neutral ground you are not like greedy for anything i'll give you a very simple example of decision making please understand it guys very honestly one of your friend come to you and he said that okay Roger, we will buy this land. It is near the railway track. Okay, and uh, the next railway track will be on that ground on the other side also. So they will acquire the land, and slowly and gradually the price will increase. Right now it is cost us right fifty thousand US dollars. You said okay, wow, great! It is very nice uh, uh, price to purchase. We pay fifty thousand US dollars and purchase that land. suddenly what happened government denial that complete plan understand it guys very honestly and said that now we will do we will not do any kind of expansion in that and the all the hopes which was there suddenly demolished now there is no demand on that land and price reduced to 50000 us dollar to 30000 us dollar 
now who is who is in the fault in that decision can you think ask yourself for a, for 10 second i'm silent and i want you answer in comment also later who is the fault in that decision is that person who who purchased that or that advisor who said that the train will be there and the the price will be high now i'll tell you the answer the greed of that person the greed of that person which was initiated that fifty thousand dollar might be converted into eighty thousand or ninety thousand dollar in two three years that greed kill his thinking and kill the consequences of risk and he took decision for the fifty thousand purchase of that particular land that advisor is not i will not say faulty at that time your own thinking someone will come to you if i'm coming to you i'm saying something don't call my words guys use your own brain use your own critical thinking because every individual is different roger is different patrick is different theek hai alaina is different alex is different mushaffar is different shabaz is different ravinder is different sania is different okay hina is different shafa is different every person is different Shanaila is different. Jennifer is different. Every person is different. When every person is different, he or she have different approach and strengths. Then you have to think as per your own statics. If person is that I can do uh, uh, like over and night work also, and I will uh, earn twenty thousand dollar in in a, in a month or ten thousand dollar in a month, for example, ten thousand dollar in a month, five thousand dollar in a month, six thousand, two thousand dollar in a month, he is ready for that. He is committed for that. He is doing that job for five years and saving the money. I, I, are you? Can you do that job? Can you seriously do that job? In the job in India, as a part is saying that there is a job in Indian railways. But what is a job? That you have to run. They said that you have to run in front of Indian railways because light is not uh, well for the uh, electric engine. So you have to run in front of engine, and the salary would be uh, like uh, six thousand US dollars. So it's not about the six thousand US dollar. You have to run in <laughs> uh, head the train. So every every different every different perception needs many things, guys. If you need if you understand a political course of this uh, world, they need difficult practice in Afghanistan. The US bombards and they, they need difficult practice in Iran, Syria, difficult practice. Bangladesh, Philippines, difficult practice. Nepal now only say that Ayodhya belongs to us. Why this practice is it? Because the inflation of uh, China. Why they don't know thinking? Because China is pumping the money. Their thinking power is zero. They were just looking at their benefit at one step, but they don't know the real nature of China. They will acquire the lands. When you really greed for thing, you are not able to think. That is called critical thinking in the world atmosphere. Saudis, you can take the Saudi countries also in the same context. So all we need to understand, guys, that a critical thinking, a peaceful mind, with the approach to create something good, with the good in the deeds and the karma, with understanding of priority, acceptability, risk, resources, goals, value, commitment, consistency, and neutral way, you can take a good decision. But all these factor you need to practice. Actually. If you are not practicing these factors, then it will be difficult. And in one day, in two hour session, you will not get these things. I am telling you, slowly and gradually. I have team of people. I train more than one lakh ladies in national rural mission. I like I train more than uh, two lakh students in the different universities. I am being advisor to many firms and business firms, FE by India, and one of the firms in UK also. But I, whenever I took part, I was one of the project in Malaysia also, one of the MIDF Malaysia Industrial Development Force project. But whenever I take decision in advisory board, I take care all the things. I never been to the if someone is boss in the company, I will not say boss, you are right. No, 
says the boss is always right but when you have a good intent for the organization boss will definitely understand you in a job because now many people have been joined in who's into the job or something like this they will also what we do my boss is not not listening to me how should i take decision to go to the company guys please good with good at your end first either you will with the company or they will fire you or if you are good the good person will pick you for sure and reliance industries in india is the best example for that you will channelize the thing you will potentialize the thing and you will move forward so this is all about the critical thinking at time your intent at that time now let's move to the five i factor in the decision making that is very important the five i factor plays a very important role the first one is intent what is intent you want to help someone let's take a decision what is your intent behind it someone gives the girls a lift and raped her is it good intent and after that you are expecting you will get good is the karma process will return you in a good no never your intent is not good so while taking a decision your intent plays a very important role in your family in your people with your friends with each and every approach your intent plays a very important role so that is very important first second intensity what is this intensity do you know what is the intensity intensity means with which energy you are working for your decision is this constructive or destructive very important question ask yourself i i will i will push you people to ask your uh, ask question from you i can give some look guys the slides can be available any point of time in youtube or website on slide share also but that seriously slide push you to think for a moment you know why movies and drama sometimes important because they push you to think for that at, at the moment of time in this particular presentation my focus is that you should think you should i i should push you to think for a moment what you are doing where is wrong into the decision why you not able to execute that decision that's why i discuss those factors whenever we talk about the intensity intensity is all about the energy which is important which kind of energy is all about is it constructive or destructive you know when there was a suzuki and uh, honda motors there was problem with the suzuki motors and you would be shocked in india honda motor gives her engine to suzuki so that they can survive and japanese can grow that was a positive intensity and a constructive decision making and that's why maruti suzuki and honda both company are growing but does we people have that intensity does these people have that intent and then intensity in the decision i'm just giving you examples uh, you can take example in your own senses also does you people have that intent or intensity ask yourself because many people are listening to this this is why we failure into the decision in that if you are successful then there is no problem everybody is very good with their approach and everything that i am doing everything is good whenever there is failure there is a question sir and if you can ask this question fail itself is a first attempt of learning there is no problem if it's a failure but after the failure if you are not learning then it is a problem then it is also a decision making process which you are missing so that is we all need to understand again intensity that play very vital role intensity play the most important role how much energy and the, that is the consistency is the factor which i said with the intent approach is the intensity with which intensity you are pushing the things with which intensity you are valuing valuing uh, giving value to the things if you are not giving value to the things with a good intent and intensity you are expecting good for you ask yourself are you seriously asking a good thing for you Yes or no? You are not asking. That is the challenge because whenever we we are into any kind of intensity, intent, and 
intentions that really leads to something we all need to understand in that in that process if we are into the uh, such approach which is not accurate or ethical on the ground you will not get the valuable answer into that so the intensity play very vital role. now the third eye is integrity do you know what is integrity is all about your own karma process and your own values that is in one word is ethical values called integrity about your family about your business about your nation about your state about your people about your relationships anything needs integrity are you seriously ready for that because it is a society itself is a reciprocal process it is a circular process the circle will move it and if you can't do that there is nothing you can get from this so integrity always plays a very vital right. so i'll again repeat it intent number 1 intensity number 2 integrity number 3 and involvement involvement for what involvement for what you took the decision are you involved into that are you seriously involved into that if in a business or something like this are you seriously involved into that if you seriously involved into that then you can move into the decision but if you seriously not involved into that then it will be difficult to do. your involvement means your interest the, from the first minute of the, this particular lecture i started if you have interest you have involvement whenever if you don't have interest how can you, how you will be involved into that so you decide your own level of involvement into a decision that play very very important and vital role because without the involvement how you can say that your decision will be constructive because you are you are himself or herself is confused that's why you're not involved into na whenever we say that we are not involved into what does it mean when we say that we are not involved into what does it mean it means that we are not entitled to that we are not valued to that and due to that factor we face problems and things so that is why i am saying that involvement always play a very very important and vital role it it is it is the most important you know each and you know, decision making itself it is a very critical process decision making itself it is a very critical process why because they involve many things into that many many things no one can deny it into the state no one can deny it into the faces so if your involvement is there you will certainly crack the things next is initiate most important point what is initiate ask your almighty to initiate a decision give your give you a power to create a decision be with that be consistent with that initiate good takes understand the risk understand the factors good intent good intensity good integrity good values ethics and have a pray to almighty that you can create a decision this then if if you seriously want to initiate something guys then you have to understand this all the factor which i have discussed about the priority most important factor which i feel personally is the intent with which intent you are taking that decision the almighty will help you the allah will bless you the god will bless you the each and everything will bless you and will help you to create a good decision to initiate a good decision but if you don't have a intent then it will be difficult actually but seriously i'm telling you you all need to understand this a conceptual side a valuable side and initiative side in the decision making when in the last one hour i'm into this right 
and i'm telling you all each and every factor these you have to take care you have to take care you have to take care. and you will get many many of the uh, people who will say that this is the factor you need to take this is the factor you need to take but i'm telling you very very rare people will say that intent you need to take care if your intent is not correct then it is difficult actually because your energy will be not correct and in this world the whole game is of energy e is equal to mc square whenever the scientific science student know that in this universe the whole game is directly proportionate to the energy and that energy play very vital and important role and you all whenever you feel that that you are dull with energy you are not uh, uh, good with your sense of mind and you are not good with the peace don't take decision now i'll tell you when you know to take decision always remember this is very important when you are very happy don't take it i'm saying very i'm repeating it for you when you are very happy don't take it when you very sad don't take it don't take any decision when you very much excited don't take it when you very much dull don't take it you have to take decision in a very neutral condition otherwise it will blunder because in excitement you can promise something which you are not able to channelize because you in the excitement you will not able to risk the factor resources consequences and you give promises to someone which will demolish your image as well as the image of your company if you working with someone you promise to someone from in, in marriage that i'll be happy that i'll do that and after that you not able to meet that that is also not correct sympathy in empty and in sympathy you give in sympathy sorry in sympathy you give a uh, decision to someone which is my which is not correct actually then you might be a regretful situation that wrong so basically is all about my senses is that don't take decision when you so much dull when you are emotionally not stable when you are very happy very sad it means on that condition you are taking the uh, decision with flow with the emotional approach you know the practical approach but now people says that you have to take the decision from your heart not from your mind absolutely some people says that but now i will say that analyze through mind understand through heart and execute through your body with full of energy intent intensity integrity and most important your inner voice that is the real real key of a good decision if someone is saying to you you can take that decision in such a process it might be practical approach it might be unpractical approach your own body will tell you many of the people whom so ever work for for himself or herself or for the nation for the country they have the good decision power and they initiate decision at their own and they take they took responsibility as well as accountability for that decision that is called ownership take ownership of that decision yeah, these are the process which i am sharing with you people generally during the during that decision making process because it is essential it is important if the decision making process is essential and important then you need to understand that in my sense whenever i initiate a decision initiate with the blessings love affection okay with the neutral set of mind in a big circle it's not specific for one person number one number two prioritize the thing understand very 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 silently with a cool mind understand prioritize the things give values to them accept that decision the risk and resources you need to take care right risk and resources you need to take care goal and values you need to understand demands you understand perception you understand then all these i factor intense integrity intrinsic values inner voice give 100% of yours and i am challenging you that you will get a desirable result but don't expect it because if expected 
it will uh, like uh, uh, you can say it will somehow distract you for a moment just be with the process slowly and gradually you will get the way like like natural it is automatic nature is sun is automatic moon is automatic everything is automatic they are into the process and they are blowing there is no problem at all. but that is most important thing that you all need to take care of prior to any decision if you really really want to be into that and uh, 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 into a process of journey then be with this process for a practice it will know the words if i am giving you this is a notebook you can take that notebook you can take that note down the note be the way it will be with the way when you seriously work on that when you seriously have values for that and when you practice that with a small decision first of all start taking small decisions don't go on the big and one first then execute them analyze them get something good and or bad something from it understand it learning then move forward slowly slowly these good bad experience the gap these slowly slowly this good and bad thing will become experience and this experience will help you so this is all about the scenario and thing which we all need to take care and understand so we have to be very much okay with this we have to very much uh, precise with this because it is important for you for me for everyone i am here i took decision you are here you took decision you say something i say something you were listening to me you took decision my be done okay i will do that there my intent was not good my intensity was not good my energy was not good i haven't prioritized the thing i prioritized the things i haven't count risk and resources i haven't accepted the decision correctly i haven't in the goals and values i haven't checked the demands itself the business itself now you are checking each and every element that is the part because it's yours so whenever you are into any kind you know i can dictate this uh, slides also let's have initiate and uh, description into that let's read into that there are thousands of people who are reading in the library how many people are reading the important is how many people are applying important is how many people are connecting important is how many people are usually joining those seras that is important if you all are joining into that particular eras then it is possible but if you just reading it's just like a newspaper which you read every day very honest for a moment just close your eyes and ask yourself it's just read a paper it's your life and when you whenever you want to do something good with the things with your life you have to understand it a good decision create good life a good decision by a politician create a good thing for the country a good decision by a businessman create a good wealth for the country a good decision by the army create a good safety for the country a good decision by a scientist create a good scientific value for the company a good decision by a farmer create a wealth for, um, uh, uh, food and revolution for the country country but these also comes from a different kind of bad decisions also with the experience also but the intent is important we stand for nation that is intent might be you feel something good might be uh, someone defame you at some point of time but your intent is good for your country that is important so all these decisions work with intent actually so what i am saying that basically what you people are what not all the people mostly people are lacking that is intent actually intent behind that decision values behind that decision acceptability behind that decision goals and values behind that decision demands behind that decision analyzing skills behind that decision calculative and uh, risk factor behind that decision understanding of that particular thing behind that decision so these things are most important which we all miss that's why we could not able to take a good decision now if you take a good decision the most important time is most important point is execution how to execute consistent 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 
Like in Vidya Balas is entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Same way. Consistency, consistency, consistency is the key for a decision to be successful venture because if you uh, uh, lose yourself any point of time, you will lose your energy. And if you lose your energy, it will be difficult for you to initiate once again because you will feel that that was not correct. I could not successfully completed that task. Getting a point. You have something in your mind at that time. So all these things are pretty important, guys. So whenever you initiate, initiate with intent. Number one, you can write it down. This thing, please. I request you if you can write down on very small paper of five things only. Initiate with intent. Number one. Number two, prioritize. Number three, risk and factors. Number four, consistency. And number five, execute with full approach. These are the key factors for decision making. You know. If you really want to change the things, if you really want to bring out the emotions of that particular note, you have to do, this, do like this. Otherwise, everyone is living the life. Even the animals are living the life. There's no problem. We, we birth, we one we will die. There's no problem about it. But seriously, if we can give something good to the society, good to the constructive way of the society, the people, it will be good. After your, um, after mine or your death, someone, my death, was, someone will remember me. There was a sir who was in the lecture. They were saying good to me. They were giving a lecture of life to me. Everyone was reading in the different methodological and religious concept. But what religion says to us, intent, no one read. They read it many things, but no one read it. So that is we all need to take care. Eventually, most important point is that we need to take care. I can't say too much on that because when I get a little bit emotional on that because I saw that kids are suffering from things and due to our wrong decisions, we are suffering in the COVID crisis also. The, um, um, uh, defamation of nature and uh, I feel sometimes very emotional to that because we took that decision women women took that decision so all we need to understand is basic sense with a neutral mind to initiate something with intent in intensity and in integrity we will definitely get something good out of it So be open with the things. If you have any questions, you can write down. You can share with them in the next five or ten minutes. We'll start with the question answer session. And I will try to answer each and everything. So I will ask the moderator. I think we can start the question answer session because some people have a query and that is most important to answer. Because if I'm giving my lecture on the way, then there is a way that it will be continued. I already share all the things, all the factors with you that you have to take care prior to initiate, prior to initiate a decision. So now I think we can move into the session with the questions. So let's move with that ground. Okay. Yes, I learned from this because I liked it in my mind about to how much work I formerly had a decision in life. It helped me so much. Absolutely. Mary, Mary, Brendan, hello. Thank you. It's really nice way you mentioned this particular thing um, uh, uh, i will ask moderator if the question is there okay safikul islam era dear sir self confidence important for decision making yeah definitely you know why is it important if uh, self confidence is important because if you are not confident about approach not over confident self confident self means my own own sense analysis critical thinking my confidence now i am committed to it that is why self-confidence is important for a decision making. Be commit. If you are not self-confident, ask yourself, will you commit yourself? No. You will definitely commit yourself when you are confident about the things, about your own things. So that is the most important and most valuable part of the juncture which I am saying. So self-confidence definitely play a very important 
uh, for decision making and uh, it play very vital and important role and i will ask moderator if you can repeat the question because i was looking into the presentation and okay question can you share something about impulsive decision making what do you think things are the impacts of impulsive decision what do you think trigger impulsive decision are there any good things about impulsive decision being generally considered as negative trait please cite an example thank you so much okay uh, ronan joy i uh, very nice question first of all thanks for the question you know impulsive decision is sudden decision why why it is negative traits when it is being generally considered as negative trait why because it is Uh, consider as negative trait because we are not able to evaluate the things at the ground we are just taking the decision okay let's go let's move for this that is impulsive decision sometime it's required for sure i'll tell you impulsive decision i'll give you okay you ask the example i have one example in my methodology okay in draupadi in duryodhana duryodhana in hindu methodology in draupadi says that this is a son of a blind blind man he impulsively said that and due to that war was happened it was impulsive words only and duryodhan feel very shattered from that particular remarks so impulsive decision it is important no problem about it you can take it there is no problem but at least be have a analytical approach and any point of time you feel that it is wrong any point of time you feel there is a problem with that particular decision you have taken then be away from this there is no problem about it then quit quickly quickly quit ronald and joy i am telling you quickly quit it is very nice question you ask and i give the example of duryodhana and uh, draupadi into that impulsive decision like uh, we there was impulsive decisions in uh, uh, in in indian politics many people uh, like aam aadmi party in delhi government they took impulsive decision to be to be uh, election in whole of the country and they got only four seats it is a problem it was wrong so there is no i will say if it is required someone pulling a sword and if you not take decision they will kill you definitely then you have to take a decision to defend yourself but until and unless you defend yourself don't rush for that take silent cool and value decision next question please okay that is uh, gawasudin mayor okay sir if we in condition that we can't concentrate on our decision how to take decision very nice question sir that is a peace of mind that is the word i i was discussing from the initiation because if you don't have a peace of mind that's why you are not able to concentrate because you don't have a peace of mind that peace of mind please don't mind guys my uh, answer that peace of mind due to uh, like uh, some economical condition some financial condition some social reasons you don't have that peace of mind and when you don't have a peace of mind how i will uh, uh, will take that decision so peace of mind is very important so first of all try to attain peace of mind with meditation yoga and scale and then you can take it and so, the factor which ever is disturbing your peace of mind please remove it and if you can't remove it at least minimize them that what can I advise you please try to minimize that yeah what about the decision in daily routine how to remove low confidence because the uncertainty attached to my definitely kdsc the question is yours daily routine how to remove low confidence low confidence about 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 what for speech for a job for a relationship uncertainty attached for what for financial for social you have to understand it if it's financial try to fix that job if it is uh, uh, social try to fix your relationship uncertainty at which ground understand that uncertainty first that is also decision with a peace of mind understand that uncertainty if you understand that understand uncertainty then you can take the daily routine i'll be move like this i'll i'll move this come from this company to another company i will move from this relation to another but always remember you have to fix the things at your own you can't change other you have to change at your own so please understand that is pretty important factor okay how empty work in decision making yeah that's sayed uh, zulfa thank you so very much for asking this question ma'am uh, there are two factor as i gave sympathy and empty sympathy also play very important empty what is different between sympathy and empty so understand if someone is in problem 
okay we go there and said that oh, oh my god you are in financial trouble let's take uh, 100000 dollars and enjoy matlab no worries i'll help you that is sympathy empty understand it guys this is the problem you are facing i'm with you i will help you to understand the concept and help you to get out from the situation but you have to do it you are empowering that person you are not giving one time help you are generally empowering that person and that's why at that time empty for that particular person in a decision making is helping now for you for you at at your personal end empty will also help because you will understand the concept to give with the practical approach look like you 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 give 1000 dollar to someone he is not returning to you now what to do in sympathy you did that he sorry to say he cheated you or she cheated you very simple in empathical ground you understand his situation and take that decision that empathy works on decision making yes sir next question please dear sir i am a physical impairment okay no problem now will i take a good no problem at all sir who said that physical impairment person can't take the good decision it is not it's it's not about that slowly don't be uh, in the initial i say that if your intent is good nazar there are many people i'll tell you there is one story of abhigyan shkuntlam there is story of tulsi das there is story of uh, 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 rishi balmiki rishi balmiki was a thief you can say and after that he rachit ramcharitmanas ravan shiv puran nepal people know that ravan rachit shiv puran we all reading that it is not about that physical impairment you can work on that statistics like some people have a problem to speaking in some words so sanskrit can help them to remove that hesitation so please check with which kind of physical impairment you are facing try to fix it try to resolve it it doesn't make any kind of uh, good decisions pa S make yourself cool peaceful with the meditation and values you will definitely take good decision no issues at all how to make decision emergency situation nora mangal okay emergency situation in physical sense in in, in social and financial three four aspects emergency situation you have to take decision if you want to save life for someone then go ahead because nothing big than life number one if it is uh, into relationship you want to attach or separation divorce or marriage it is not emergency it is planned situation sorry to say okay and uh, uh, emergency situation suddenly you are not well or, or suddenly i'm not well or something happened to me how to take that we took term plan we took health insurance and if it's not with you then move to the government hospital or something emergency situation in that if you are into situation with someone pushed to you be cool with the mind don't react at the time suddenly you are the person who's killing my happiness no 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 one can kill your happiness you own yourself kill happiness can kill your happiness no one can do so be okay at that time be natural yeah which factor should one consider the one intent sir ronald intent in my sense priority and intent your intent must be good for the decision my own personal thinking whenever i took decision i first on think what is in, what is the intent behind that decision is this constructive or destructive if it's constructive no issues the intent first decision first most important thing factor we should take and then the factor others factors are also there okay himani ahsana mena yeah uh, when i can when i take decision but i can't execute myself because of fearness what i will do you know when i was answering one question about self confidence himani at that time uh, i mentioned that you must be self confident that is some uh, some person asked the question is self confidence necessary i said yes it is necessary why it is necessary because if you don't have self confidence you will be in fear so must have self confidence i took the decision and move in girish chandra pathak any role of emotions in decision definitely sir girish chandra like uh, in a marriage agar aap mein emotion nahi honge if you are in, from india अगर आप में इमोशन नहीं होंगे तो आप डिसीजन कैसे लेंगे ठीक है तो डेफिनेटली इमोशंस प्ले वेरी वाइटल रोल बट इमोशन विद द प्रैक्टिकल ग्राउंड यू शुड प्ले 
look girish i'm uh, guys give me 30 second on that girish if we are in love with a lady sorry to say for which for physical approach psychological approach emotions for what it is temporary or permanent ask yourself then you will answer for your children for your students for your people is it temporary for a vote seeking you are seeing, saying the emotion politician or for the wellment of the country that is emotion emotion for which sake definitely will play a good thing and if a good intent behind it you will get good karma out of it. krishna bhi yahi kehte hain grish acha karm karoge to acha aayega wo to hai next question please okay okay ronal again sir can you say something i already answered it on impulsive decision making i think we can take another questions because impulsive decision i already answered yeah acha put god first above all then and acha okay and put god no, please be with the previous question that was good please please that was not taken yeah put god first above all then you will gain the self confidence absolutely in the starting when i i uh, duryodhana arjuna and krishna and the uh, uh, ayat of qurans i quoted and christianity itself definitely when you have trust to almighty when you have believe in almighty when you have shraddha and nishcha in almighty definitely self confidence because then you have one factor ki jo main karunga aayega mujhe kudrat ke nizam par yakeen hai i have faith in god i have faith in karma definitely boost your confidence very right ma'am please next question please how emotional intelligence affect decision making process okay emotional intelligence how can it affect the decision making process because that is the most most important factor your emotions are affecting you your emotions are affecting you your sense your values your mind then it will definitely affect the decision making it's very simple guys this question is very simple your emotional intelligence is definitely affect because that is the real sense which is affecting so that we need to take it. next question please question okay sir how to know that my decision is right and how to avoid the influence that stop me to take right decision sayan sanubai okay sayan very nice question how to know my decision is right sayan i'll tell you very honestly ask yourself your decision gives a pleasure to you a long term pleasure to you a satisfaction to you a zeal to you when you sit alone and silent you will feel a pleasure within you you will feel a love within you you will feel a value within you that is the only thing which give you pleasure and i can i can say this thing in a such a way because that will give you pleasure because that is important and how to avoid influence that stop me no 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 one can stop you to influence right decision it is your decision guys you you can take wrong decision in influence but influence no one can stop you to right decision right decision will be there if you have sense right then you will take for sure next question please what technique we should adopt to develop self confidence okay nice question sir what technique practice knowledge content and uh, involve yourself with the people involvement and uh, slowly and gradually gather more information and be consistent with the work and give 100% to the values and uh, be good with the intent most important practice 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 slowly and practice you will develop you will certainly develop self confidence it will really help you because it will give you the real charm and you will move forward these are the techniques you can write down you can read good literature good stories good methodological concepts have a belief in faith and god give values to things slowly and gradually it will penetrate in your mind and slowly to your body and then you de develop the technique and you him you himself feel self confidence when you give a lecture in front of someone thousand is praising you definitely self confidence criticizing you don't worry understand it understand your mistake next time rock on again your self confidence so practice and way how do you weigh decision making if both situation will benefit you in the end julie sorena sorena nice question how do you weigh decision making 
if both situation will benefit you in the end you the first of all you decided that the conclusion at the end understand it i am giving you very uh, i really like this question first of all at your perception you attempt that that this will be the end solution okay benefit at at the end you reach the end at the primary stage am i right this is called expectation settings if it derail you will hurt if it demolish you will hurt and if you will hurt you will leave that thing you will not carry so don't set that expectation to the result to the end be with the process but still i will answer you then you have to understand that decision in which you are really happy with the intent intensity and faith if in which decision you are happy that is your decision you can weigh that for sure next please sir after making an effective decision execute it for few days i have procrastination how can our yeah I, i'm sorry guys i forgot to mention this particular point thank you uh, ramesha binti hasan it is very nice point you mentioned procrastination means aaj nahi kal karenge means no today let's stay tomorrow day after tomorrow day after tomorrow why because you are not interested into that ramesha i am telling you very honestly because you let's example i give example for uh, let's go to gym for five days after that oh my god let's take a one leave one leave is required one holiday is required we have to give rest to the body these are the excuse actually actually you don't want to go if you really want to go so six packs i got my body is really fluttering the bits then there's no problem you will not do procrastination you will move on the day i am going to the gym i will do that because you are excusing yourself procrastination is excusing yourself don't excuse yourself guys give your 100% to the decision intent and values don't do procrastination only weak intensity weak intensity will allow procrastination if you have a good intensity no procrastination for sure have good intensity uh okay what could be the simplest way to teach a child to effectively make good decision at young age i have a daughter who is 7 years old okay uh, uh genital and olaret baramira thank you i hope i am correcting you i'm so sorry if i'm correct i'm um, uh, pronouncing your name incorrectly okay uh still sir whatever you will do your child will follow in hindu methodology will say whatever you do your child will follow if you going to child if you want to give a good practice to your child to wake up early you have to be get up early in the morning number 1 number 2 you have to take good decision number 3 you have to show them the values of good decision number 4 you have to give a good approach to them you have to show there is a faith you have to give a values this is value exists you have to create a belief system within the mind of child you have to give a freedom of approach and thinking to the child that he can innovatively think in his mind and create it should not be borrowed borrowed thinking give him a free and a daughter of seven is she is really princess say my hello and uh, namaskar to your daughter and uh, i hope a uh, good future for her for sure and uh, uh, definitely don't think much don't think much for seven year old child dear i'm telling you very honestly give her a space be good at your end don't think for her she will follow you be good at your decision be good at your task be good at your thing she will follow you no worries at all next please okay siyani chatterjee so you spoke about perspective being an effective decision making a factor i would like to say that perspective regarding the particular decision depends on the way we look at it so perspective can differ from person to person in that case how will perspective add on the effective decision making a factor could you please explain thank you for sure definitely ma'am there is a perception different from person to person but a good intent is a good intent in every respect for every person understand a good intent is a good intent in every respect for in in every moment of person number one now second particular decision depend on the way we look how we look with the thinking of mind if i saw a very beautiful girl okay i said she is very beautiful other people might be something wrong attempt for her that is his or her percept his perception i thought what a beautiful creation of god he thought oh wow what a beauty everyone have different perception ma'am 
it is your karma will come back to you number one number two in case how will preserve the and the effective decision definitely ma'am you have to faith in your god that if you do something bad you will get get in the bad way so uh, you will get in the destructive way so perception must be good with the intent good with the value good with the knowledge and might be if i am seeking uh, guys just give me 30 second more on this if i am seeking six might be it is nine for you it i think i am right now something six for me is nine for you suppose no problem you should be good at your point i should be good at my point you should be good at your karma i should be good at my karma if we bo both good at with the execution will definitely both get get that desirable result for sure and if it's not desirable the almighty will give us a perfect result which is appropriately suits us next please okay harpal singh han ji sir how should a person deal with indecisiveness okay harpal singh jadi uh, matlab in in, in uh, it's really nice that uh, tusi puchya and uh, i can answer in punjabi also to you but uh, no worries but uh, my question is this when when you indecisiveness basically how we can relate into that then when you are in any kind of confusion how should a person deal with like confusion that ah kara ki oh kara kidda kara that's like that okay then uh, harpal very simple thing priority jada main factor dassya si i gave you one factor at that time the priority is pretty important you have to understand the priority then you can definitely deal with this factor for sure If you prioritize the things, कि Canada जाना है, कि UK जाना है, कि America जाना है. If you prioritize the thing with the capital available with you, if you prioritize the thing business available with you, if you prioritize the things functions available with you, if prioritize the thing resources available with you, you can definitely deal this factor for sure. Priority is the answer for this. I am hundred percent sure of this. Next, please. Okay, Deepak Mahat, is there difference between individual and organization? Definitely, sir. individual or uh, uh, individual decision affects you only organization decision affects whole organization in organization matlab 100 me suppose 100 people are definitely impact that and uh, uh, individual decision is up to your family up to you and uh, organizational decision uh, uh, depend upon many fact uh, many people also look understand in organization there is a board of director why there is a board of director because many people considerably took decision they take decision many people not one people okay tomorrow it is there no 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 is, that's why it's called board of director that's why it's called conference room that's why i call the people into board of directors because they collectively take decision for the collectively for that family who's working for that particular uh, organization so that's why i say that individual de decision is different and organization decision is different yeah process is same process is same process will be remain same for all the process risk resources etc priority all the thing priority for what priority for the employees so it's all about that so yeah, yeah there's a difference but process will remain same next question please ronald okay how to more critical and less impulsive specifically in time of crisis okay how to be more critical and less impulsive and especially you know ronald i i can dictate one poem in hindi but uh, i more i i thought you might be not able to understand they said that ki uh, uh, jaane kitne taare toote in toote taaro par kab ambar shok banata hai madhubala mein uh, madhushala mein like in the liquor house many liquor glasses has broken never does the bar show regret to that because glasses have to be broken star has to be broken never the sky show any kind of sorrow to that this is hindi poem is very beautiful poem in that critical thing you have to be take acceptance i told the acceptability have acceptability that god gives us something okay be with the karma be ask pray to the god to almighty that give me a power to handle it and uh, in the time of crisis be cool and calm don't be aggressive to someone you will lose the relationship also at that time if you aggressive be cool and calm be humble slowly and gradually time will change if this time is not there that time will also will not there akbar asked that ek aisi cheez bolo ki khushi aur dukh sab ho to usne bola 
कि ये समय नहीं रहेगा मतलब अच्छा भी नहीं रहेगा तो अच्छे के समय बुरा बोलोगे बुरे के समय बोलोगे तो अच्छा लगेगा और अच्छे के समय बोलोगे तो बुरा लगेगा ये भी नहीं रहेगा सो इन दैट कंसेप्ट टाइम विल ऑलवेज बी चेंज सो वेट फॉर दैट राइट टाइम डियर हैव फेथ हैव गुड Uh, uh, sense of mind, have cool sense of mind. Pray to Almighty. Be good, dear, and definitely you get a good solution in the time. Sure. Next question, please. Is it okay to be flexible in your decision if you find something wrong? Definitely, ma'am. It's very nice. Uh, Ned's, it's really nice question you ask. Is it okay to flexible in your decision? Definitely, you can do little bit amendment. okay but don't take uh, uh, taken to guarantee that amendment okay you can amendment like okay this is wrong i have to make myself correct at that time you can correct yourself but be neutral guys don't be into biased if you are biased then you correct yourself then there is a problem then you will be influential in the influence of someone else you are correcting your decision or you changing your decision so what i will say be okay and be good to that and then you can suddenly neutral observe it and but not in many times two three times you attempt okay do it change it no issues that's not a problem it's happen next please sir if possible suggest one book on decision making practical and simple okay i will say decision making and simple i will ask you to read seven effective habit for successful people why because good habit can create good future you know decision making itself is a it habit here i am going to publish this book in next month uh, if you be online <laughs> i'll share my book with you decision making and execution that's why i am doing this session is also so practical decision making look kd one answer here your habit must be improved agar if you can improve your habit you can change your future for sure you can't change your future but you can change your habit and your habit certainly change your future and that can be practical approach so apply good habits apply good intent good karma all things will be in line next please cite an example of good traits in making good decision okay anna victoria great cite example of good traits in making good decision okay definitely good traits good decision i'll give you many example in uh, like uh, in india baba ramdev or patanjali one of the great venture in apple uh, the founder steve jobs have a good traits in the initial itself he called 144 time to his investor he was very keen into that and good decision making and uh, in uh, 1999 abdul kalam who was the nuclear scientist for india took decisions he was holding good traits since his childhood and very good decision making raja chandra gupta could holding very good decisions very very fantastic decision making process maharaja ranjit singh till the msc empire was there he was holding very good decision at that time and when he was not there there was no person to take the good decision till that time it was very good examples beside this 1971 bengali state good decision into or at your own after both they get uh, bangladesh a good decision they are working at the dion sheikh hasina was working well for them so there are many example example of good traits good traits means intent good traits means intensity good trait means good for the people if you think good for the people you definitely take good decisions steve jobs mark zuckerberg mark uh, when you talk about the mark in the facebook he was uh, he was looking for some some of his friend for what to connect them that that his thinking was very nice to connect the people now the facebook running it is good traits there are many good decisions like that. next please okay which one is the best decision choosing the women you love but your son might get mad at you for choosing another woman okay then just give a financial support or choose to marry your son mother but sacrificing your heart for someone happiness actually i need to question that. understand this question again give me a moment please which one of the best decision choose the woman you love but your son might be get mad at you for choosing another woman look if you choosing another woman understand in love and relationship means you are not satisfied with the previous woman number one am i correct now why you are not satisfied is she something wrong with her or something wrong with you if something wrong with you then you will be again with the problem with that lady to whom you loving again 
बिकॉज विदाउट यू विदाउट द लव यू आर नॉट मैरिंग दैट पर्सन फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दैट लेडी फ्रॉम यू गेट दैट पर्टिकुलर सन इट मीन्स यू आर लव विद नाउ चेंज वाई डिट चेंज इज दिस समथिंग रॉन्ग विद यू or something wrong with the lady suppose i assume that something wrong with the lady then you uh, and she left it now you can choose another woman but your son might be get mad choose another woman because she felt that my mother was right it means there are two emotions now you have to check at your end why the emotion was not balanced at it is called balanced emotion number 1 then just give a financial support to choose marry your son's mother a uh, financial support but sacrifice no financial support to another woman for what ma'am in the love it is not dealing uh, are you are you into kind of dealing in 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 hindu methodology we don't believe in such theory are you into dealing please don't mind if if we have to give money to someone to sleep with someone it is something different we don't accept this in our society but financial support because love it means it's not love mezo me this is one it is not love i'm sure now it is not love which is changing from person to person it is not love it is need of the hour of that particular person definitely if if you everyone understand that it is need of art you can understand at your mind you can fulfill that need of art and the consequences will be there as i mentioned and might be son face that consequences after son wife also face that consequences that you can take care so i will say be ethical with the approach understand your emotion at right time at right time and approach with the ethical approach then you will get your right answer next please when we want to make decision uh, sedul arthak okay when we want to make decision we hesitate some time question how to understand the decision we make it right look sir whenever we take decision sometime it's right sometime it's wrong okay with the learning we will understand what was wrong what was right and how to understand decision we make it right i someone asked me earlier that gives you pleasure that give you happiness okay sorry to say i give you very into that someone say that if you please don't mind if you if you raped a woman okay you sexually feel pleasure about it then but ethically is not correct because that is against her will it is ethically not correct her deep sorrow her deep curse will kill you now understand decision we make it which makes you actually happy to the constructive side which makes you actually happy on the collective side which makes you happy on the long term horizon and basis which is very constructive for a aura that is right decision sir you will definitely with your right decision you will not benefit yours let's give you one more term guys with your benefit with with your right decision you will not benefit yours you will benefit many people that is real right decision next please how many times should change to become good decision making how many times should change it means then you are not clarify with the decision sir every time it means you are not learning from the mistake if you take don't mind please draw if you take every time with the humble words not taking right decision it means you are not learning from the mistakes then the thousand times is not enough अपनी गलतियों से सीखो आप जो गलती करो उससे सीखो नहीं तो उम्र छोटी पड़ जाएगी दूसरे की गलती से सीख लो यू कैन नोटिस दैम अदर ऑल्सो बट दे आर मिस्टेकिंग आई शुड नॉट डू इन माय बिजनेस बट दे आर मिस्टेकिंग रिलेशन आई शुड नॉट डू ऑन माय रिलेशनशिप अंडरस्टैंड फॉर मिस्टेक इफ यू नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टाइम देर इज नॉट लिमिट डियर अंडरस्टैंड यूर मिस्टेक्स एक्सेप्ट इट मूव इट नेक्स्ट प्लीज हाउ टू ओके शेरिटो एन Mary Kidam okay yes ma'am how to improve decision making skills in workplace definitely ma'am be with the team team skills number 1 number 2 uh, understand the team first of all if you working in a team office the workplace there will be team and uh, on that ground uh, do good for the company understand the company uh, uh, rules and responsibility and then took decision with the approach of client and customer satisfaction because customer is always good in in this process whatever you will do that will definitely good and you will slowly and gradually improve yourself day by day one decision is good you feel pleasure second now i will do it more understand be with the emotional expression of mind then second is good sir i will do this more third everyone is appreciate you energy is heightened and you with the 
no, no, uh, right mode of sign at that time you have to uh, uh, you have to control your sense also don't be too much excited in excitement sometimes people took wrong decision be neutral with the decision decision guys please request you humbly in neutral sense not be happy not be sad take with the neutral sense okay okay i understand this is the way next please is it okay to person to easy change her decision how do you deal with the uh, okay zim is asking a question about the person is it okay person to easily easily change her decision how do you deal with this kind of person that is called vivery mind zim that is called vivery mind if i am a vivery mind i am telling you okay this is my decision after 10 minutes no 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 it means he is not clear ask him guy ask him now at that point you have to understand his psychology ma'am or her psychology otherwise it will be risk for them for him also you also if you involved into decision so if in that context you have to understand his or her mind with your psychological approach and actually try to understand what exactly going in his or her mind that is called psychological mapping you have to understand if you can't understand sorry to say then be away from that the situation deal with that person with love and affection just inform them this is right this is wrong don't fight and argue with them slowly and gradually his very mind will stable and come back to you yeah next please anik rumi this one jalaluddin rumi i really like that poet is amazing how can we make a good decision to implant a plan okay implant a plan obviously sir first of all prioritize you already prioritize the plan it means the priorities with you then risk and resources acceptability values demand association money involved into and uh, team and uh, slowly and gradually work on that uh, monitor that uh, work and uh, definitely good decision this is called good decision and plan that's next please okay i think it's in bangla i can't read that name sir sorry lots of decision made by me but sir i can't uh, sorry but i can't excuse uh, sorry execute them just because overthinking about success what should, sir don't overthink about them i have many friends who come who come forward to me in psychological counseling i do personal counseling psychological counseling many people come to me about this particular thing and uh, 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 it is really nice that thing and don't be overlooked into that just execute in a small attempt don't go for the bigger time just execute in small attempt and move forward to that and that will be really good that's not a problem at all don't overthink too much overthink kills you just be in the process and follow one process i will lose weight for example oh i should take capsule i should no go for yoga first process follow it come easy diet follow it very simple thank you so much for answering the question with yeah thank you so much imena it's really nice and uh, i re bow my head and folded my head to you because your affection blessing and love uh, is very important for me then i can answer all these things it is really better for me because you all people are very great with the energy of almighty and blessings of all you people uh, i answered all this question i hope uh um, i could answer all the questions in very well manner and it will give a satisfactory answer to each and every one still if you find any kind of irrelevance your question into that and my words hurt you some apologies for that beside this if you want to leave you more questions you can leave in the comment also i will try to answer each and every person try to answer each and every person so that uh, uh, when, whenever we connect next time i'll definitely connect with live chat also so like video also we were working on that as a professional consultant this very good people they are really trying hard for their uh, they are really connecting to good trainers to get uh, good education to for you people support them enjoy them your every moment of life and last mein ek kavita main aapko hindi mein jaldi se padhta hu 
कि विवेक जिंदगी में विजडम विजडम आप कॉपी कर लीजिएगा इसकी नरेशन भी इंग्लिश में मैं नरेट कर दूंगा कमेंट बॉक्स में पांडवों को जब समझाने को कौरवों को समझाने को एक और विध्वंस बचाने को भगवान हस्तिनापुर आए एक पांडव का संदेशा लाए दो न्याय कर दो आधा दो मगर उसमें भी वादा हो दे दो केवल पांच ग्राम रखो अपनी धरती तमाम हम उसी में अनुप जाएंगे परिजन पे असी ना उठाएंगे दुर्योधन वो भी दे ना सका आशीष समाज की ले ना सका उल्टा हरी को बांधने चला जो था साधे साधने चला जब नाश मनुष्य चाहता है विवेक तो नहीं मर जाता है विजडम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटलेक्चुअल सेटअप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट please keep that alive my dear friends please keep that alive thank you very much sir thank you very much thanks uh, thank you everyone thanks it was really good learning it's me for me it's your a blessing thank you very much guys thank you very much i would like to say thank you each and every person each and every person thank you to professional consulting each and every person whomsoever because there lots of people their affection and love professional consulting thank you to them and uh, and uh, i would like to join you again and again uh, to uh, assist the people to serve the people to serve the nation to serve the world and uh, it is really nice uh, almighty bless us allah bless us god bless us ishwar hame aashirwad de एंड ये इसी तरीके से बना रहे बात और आगे भी आपसे मिलते रहे सब लोग बहुत अच्छे से आपने बात की इट वाज रियली फैंटेस्टिक एंड अमेजिंग एंड आई फील वेरी प्रिवलेज एंड ऑनर्ड एंड ऑनेस्ट बिकॉज आई 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 डोंट वांट टू स्टॉप दिस सेशन एक्चुअली आई गेटिंग सो मच मैसेजेस इट्स वेरी नाइस and i'm very feeling happy and uh, see so much blessings from you people people are really liking me. your uh, speech sir really liking your speech <laughs> ah, yeah it's really you know it's a really emotions and blessings come together ma'am and uh, yes. when we can do something good for the people and every person thank you so much sharing your knowledge about really really, really heartily thanks amandeep dingra so nice so nice bahut badhiya vire bahut badhiya amandeep so every every person uh, is really good and uh, they i really want good for the society good for the people you know my uh, what is my heart says that if the comment is going i'll still read it <laughs> <laughs> and i'll still read it there's a lovely is, people <laughs> yeah there's lovely people actually and you are also very lovely people you it is due to <laughs> you guys and i can uh, professional consulting it's you due to you people i am live over with you people and i can really interact with the session and uh, it is really energy it really work for me and uh, each and every one many many people saying thanks and the value and and i i and most important dear they ask very relevant questions it is very beneficial for each and every one and many people will get get benefit from them in further future when we have a session on this it will certainly benefit many of the people and uh, minazur rahman i heartily thanks so uh, ma'am uh, sorry to say i could not end this session <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> i can't take decision on that now <laughs> you know i i mentioned that i mentioned that don't don't take decision when you are so happy so i'm very Our happy now so is in dilemma now <laughs> yeah so i'm not taking decision right now so because so much okay, now uh, but uh, so uh, we have to finish our webinar for yeah, today i know i know <laughs> yeah also, i know thank you so much um for your valuable time for your valuable speech we often face uh, difficulties uh, when it is about uh, to take decisions so so um, i think your speech is really really very helpful for uh, will be very helpful for all of us for my audience um, to take decisions <laughs> not to be in dilemma anymore <laughs> thank you so much sir welcome ma'am i'll catch you soon again i'm bolted hand with the bow hands i thanks to all of you and thanks to professional consulting and thanks to almighty god and allah for the same for the blessing and love thank you okay uh, thank you audience uh, our next session will be on 30th august um, i hope i hope all of your participation on that day too uh, for more informative uh, informative sessions like this thank you all thank you sir thank you so much once again